squid and lobsters and octopi. Oh my, that's a lot of big fish to catch. I'm Shailen Cotton, and I'm here the gamer to show you how to catch squids, lobsters, and octopuses for the beasts below the wave quest in Call to the Lamb. As you crusade through Darkwood, eventually you will come across a room with the fisherman. Talk to him and this delightful little fish, <clears throat> I mean man, will invite you to Pilgrim's Passage to fish. Once you're out of the dungeon, you can travel to Pilgrim's Passage whenever you like. Talk to the fisherman again and he'll ask you to bring him four big fish. An octopus, a squid, a crab, and a lobster. How do you get all these big fishies? Well, the most straightforward way is to fish, of course. You can go to Pilgrim's Passage every day and fish until the coast has run dry. However, with the exception of crabs, these are all pretty rare fish. If you're feeling pretty unlucky with your fishing hauls, there are two other methods to increase your odds. Firstly, when you talk to the fisherman for the first time in Pilgrim's Passage, he'll unlock a new tarot card for you. Neptune's Curse. Whenever you come across Claw Neck in your crusades, choose the Neptune's Curse card if it's available. While this tarot card is active, enemies have a chance to drop a fish. By far the best way of increasing your chances of getting rare fish, however, is the ritual of the ocean's bounty. This ritual can be unlocked after reaching sustenance level 3 of the crown's doctrinal decision tree. After performing the ritual of the ocean's bounty at your cult, the amount of fish gained while fishing is doubled, thereby increasing the spawn rate of rare fish as well. Honestly, it's a win-win because after one day of Ritual of the Ocean Bounty fishing, not only should you be able to obtain any missing fish for the fisherman's quest, but your cult will be eating fish stew for days. What do you get for all this hard work? Well, turns out your rewards are twofold. Right off the bat, the fisherman rewards you with a piece of a holy talisman, which when completed can be used to unlock new fleeces. But perhaps the best reward is that henceforth, the fisherman will sell you rare fish at fairly low prices. This is good for much more than simply feeding your flock in a hurry, mind you. Some of these fish can be sold at your camp for more than what they cost at the fisherman. This gives you a small but reliable way to make a little bit of gold every day. So there's how to complete the Beasts Below the Waves quest. For more tips and guides for Cult of the Lamb, be sure to check out thegamer.com. Thank <laughs> you.